do you feel British or English? And obviously, I'm a bit sensitive to this with the Scottish thing at the moment. Or Irish? What do you feel? Um, I definitely feel British. And but when I go to Ireland, because that's where all my family um, mm. obviously were born and, and grew up, um, I feel a bit like I, I, I feel at home there as well. Even though I've no memories of growing up there, but I always love coming home. It doesn't matter where I am in the world, I always love coming home. Is it because of the European Convention of Human Rights? Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> at the top of my list. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And steam engines, I'm here. of course. <laughs> steam engines. And trampolines in a garden, of course. Yeah. 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 Do you feel British? I do feel British. I don't feel particularly English. Well, I'm half Welsh anyway. I'm not quite sure which half, and I better not say any more, otherwise there will be even more hatred on Twitter than about the dog. Um, <laughs> I absolutely love being British, and I'm a bit upset about the Scots and their referendum because, you know, I go to Scotland all the time. I love Scotland, and I love going to Wales. In fact, I love everything about England. I was thinking... Well, not England, Britain. Sorry, that's a bit of Freud and slip. I was thinking all the things that I love about about being British, and none of them are Nick Cleggs. I was thinking pork pies. <laughs> Yorkshire pudding. Yorkshire pudding, <gasps> blue Wensleydale cheese, and things like village halls. When you go around Britain, you see these amazing village mm. halls where they still have flower arranging classes and kids' mm. crashes and stuff like that. Kids' that crashes? <laughs> it's the vocal point she of She loves going up to the window and going, <laughs> <laughs> A village hall that's the focal point of a yeah. community yeah. i think it's fantastic yeah. for me it's a british sense of humor i love to travel but our sarcasm is that we are the funniest people yeah. in the world irony we do i love we? it i love the countryside i love the fact that we can go into museums and art galleries and 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 for free I mean, there's not yeah. many countries you can do that. Um, I, I, the countryside, I mean, you can, you know, you go from Cornwall to Scotland. I mean, so, so beautiful. But also, I am, I consider myself very lucky in that I'm an Anglo Arab. I'm so proud to be British and proud to be half Arab. And I live, I choose the best from both cultures. Well, what's, the, what's the best of the Arab culture then? Because we never Well, for that. me, I think it's the hospitality. I think it's the strong sense of family. It's the baklava. Have you ever had baklava? Pistachio I've had yours, it's lovely. Buttery pastry. Mm. <laughs> for me, it's always the food. So, yeah, I, I, and I'm very much British. You know, that side of me is British, not English. Mm. Yeah. Well, we will send our list to, to Nick Clegg and... Um, yeah, we'll why doesn't he ask us next time he's going to write on? a list? I'll put baked beans on. Thank All you. right. <laughs> Love there the you go. I'd say bluebells as well. I forgot blue to bells. say that. Oh, NHS. We're talking about spring. And, and, and the NHS. NHS. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll put them. Okay, Cleggy, baked beans from Colleen. <laughs> <laughs>